Victory Field, the hub of recreation here in the city of Watertown, is one of several recreational facilities around the community in the midst of major renovation projects. In nearly every corner of Watertown, there are parks, fields, tot lots, and ball courts being renovated or on the cusp to getting some major improvements. Watertown Director of Recreation Peter Santola met with me at Moxley Park, where brand new ball courts and a multi-use hockey rink are being installed. This is the uh, renovation project for the courts. We're located adjacent to the middle school and certainly the target date is September. There's gonna be a tennis court. There's gonna be, within the tennis court, there'll be two pickleball courts. Uh, you'll have to bring your own net and then in the middle, there'll be a basketball court. And then at the far end is going to be a multi-purpose -pur rink. The new dark sky compliant light poles were erected earlier this week. And one of the neat features that this lighting is going to have, it has a push button. So if the lights are on and no one's home, then the lights go off after. About a mile down the road on Orchard Street, construction crews are in the process of ripping up the turf at Victory Field to install a fresh new turf material in time for the fall sports season. It's going to be multi-use and a couple of key differences. We are not going to be using crumb rubber and it's going to be rock fill, which is somewhat of a wood product uh, that's going to be great. It's, uh, it's organic and one of the key aspects of this is they're going to repurpose and recycle all of this. We're expecting to be completed by uh, second week in August, hopefully. A construction project to improve the track and field portion of Victory Field is expected to begin in 2024. A new field house is in the pipeline as well. Further down the road at Saltonstall Park, the site of the Watertown Farmers Market and Summer Concert Series, there are plans to make major improvements that includes adding a new staging area. We're hoping to do the gazebo at Saltonstall Park, do a light project at Saltonstall Park. O'Connell Park is the park in front of the Hosmer School. So that's looking sharp. High school softball, youth softball, and youth baseball. They laid the sod, but I think they have to give a couple of growing cycles. I think that's going to be open April 1st, 2024. Philip Powell Park spray pad is being, it's torn up and they're working on that. This summer, Arsenal, we've completed phase A, phase B, which will be the courts, parking lot, bike paths, and the playground. They hope to start in September of 2023 and that will be closed for about a year. One of Watertown's first Community Preservation Act funded projects at Irving Park is also nearing completion and later this year the John Ryan skating rink will be getting some new accessible bleacher seating. So thank you Director Santola for taking me to a couple of these projects in town and we look forward to seeing the fruits of Watertown's labor in the near future. Stick with WCN to see updates of all of these projects as they move forward. Reporting from Victory Field, Dan Hogan, Watertown Cable News.